The Growth Commission report contains a manifesto for growth. What we need to do over the next 50 years to provide a stable foundation for policies to deliver growth that we need. And the problem of the UK economy is essentially that we have failed to invest in the long-term assets of human capital, that skills, of infrastructure, especially transport and energy, and of innovation, creation of new ideas. The failure to invest has led to slower growth than we could have otherwise got, and that means that we have lower wages, lower quality of life than we could have had if we'd made those investments. We need to fix things in our schools. There's three ways to do that. First of all, we have to improve the quality of teaching by widening the ability of people to come into teaching and more rigorously selecting the people who stay in teaching. Secondly, we have to create a system which allows the better schools to expand and help the struggling schools. Thirdly, we need to deal with the problem of disadvantaged uh, young people. So we need to make the inspection, the information system, the financial system, give incentives to deal with the problem of disadvantage in our school system. We have a major problem of uh, inadequate investment in infrastructure in this country, especially in transport and energy. The solution to that is to put politics in the right place, to put the strategy down for what we need to do with it, but take the politics out of deciding the best way to deliver that and to compensate people who might be losing out from that development. And so we need a whole set of new institutions to, to do that. The third thing is on innovation. So the, the problem in the UK is that, although we have many successful companies, we tend to perform rather poorly on commercializing innovations. We produce lots of new ideas in the university, but we're rather poor at taking those through to commercializing innovations. So we're proposing two, several things. The two main things are to deal with short-termism. We don't provide enough long-term finance. And I think that's linked to the lack of competition in the retail banking sector. So we're proposing ways to increase dramatically competition in the, in the banking sector. And we're also proposing to widen the remit of the business bank um, especially to kind of give support to innovative young startup companies, which are the things which are particularly important for coming up with radical new ideas for long-term long growth. We believe that growth should not just be about increasing the average size of the economy. It should also be a type of growth where um, all people gain from that growth. It doesn't just go to a few lucky rich people at the top and too much of our growth over the last 30 years has been about that. So we want to think about policies which uh, help spread the benefits of growth. And there's two ways. One is through human capital, through increasing the skills of people at the bottom. That's a great way both to increase growth and reduce inequality. And the second way is a very simple thing in terms of thinking about the measures of our success. Let's get away from just only obsessing about GDP per capita but look at um, the median household income, the group in the middle of the distribution, have that as the thing which gets put out regularly and gets put in the, in, in the, in the media, because that's actually a much more real measure of how people are doing than just the, the GDP. So why is it important to take such a long-term horizon? All the political debate happening now, for example, over austerity is, is important, but it's detracted from some of the things that we need to do to fix our long-term problems. Um, it's a lot of heat and light, but won't necessarily generate the type of policies we need to deal with our underinvestment problem. So why have we failed to invest as, as a nation in the things that we need to? The basic reason is a policy failure. We have had too much uh, policy flip-flops, creating political uncertainty. We have failed to look at the evidence over which to base strong policies on, and we have a tendency to prevaricate too much over major decisions. Mm -hmm.